Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the merge node in between zeros problem from lead code and the number for this is 2181. So in the given problem we are having a head of a linked list which contains a series of integers which are separated by zeros. The beginning and the end of linked list will have node value equal to zero so the beginning and end will be always zero in the linked list and for every two consecutive zeros we have to merge all the nodes lying in between them into a single node whose value is the sum of all the merged nodes. So like if you see in between two zeros uh, the number of nodes which are present what we have to do we have to do the sum of all those nodes and replace it with a single node instead of all those nodes and the value will be the sum of all the nodes. So let's see through an example suppose we have 0 3 1 0 4 5 2 0 so in between the first and the second zero we have three and one so the sum becomes four and in between the second and the last zero we have the sum equal to four plus five plus two that is eleven you can see so how we are going to approach the problem so we are going to approach the problem uh, like we are going to use two pointers one pointer will keep uh, keep pointing at the new modified list and one pointer will be pointing at the elements of the linked list and whenever we encounter a zero we'll we'll go on storing the sum and whenever we encounter a zero we'll, we store the sum into the modified list like let me show you through a step-by-step -step explanation suppose we take this this example so we have a 0, then 3, then 1, then 0, then 4, 5, 2 and 0. So we start with the second node always. But we will initialize the pointer from first index only. So whenever we encounter 3, we add it to the sum because it is not 0. So it is added to the sum. Then in the next step we get to 1. So 1 is not equal to 0, we add it to the sum. Sum becomes 4. Now in the next step we encounter 0. When we encounter 0, we create a new node with sum, with the this sum, the sum which we were, we were taking ahead. So now in the next step sum will become 0 and this 4 will be added to the modified list. So 4 is added to the modified list. Now next step, we encounter 4, add 4 to the sum. The sum was previously 0. After creation of new node the sum was 0. Now when we add this 4, it becomes 4. Mod in the next step we encounter 5 it is not equal to 0 add it to the sum sum becomes 9 in the next step we encounter 2 not equal to 0 add to the sum becomes 11 in the next step next step we encounter 0 create a new node with sum equal to 11 the nodes become 4 and 11 which is the answer you can see so this is the explanation of the approach how we are going to solve this so let's now come to the coding section but before that do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So first of all we will define the pointers. This is the modified list. Modified list will start from head.next because the head contains 0 so we will start from the head next the next pointer is next sum which will be used to store the sum so we have defined the pointers now let's work with the iteration to till the time next sum not equal to null we are going to iterate in the list and sum equal to 0 for now and while we encounter 0 so while next sum dot val not equal to 0 what we will do so till the time next sum dot val is not equal to 0 what we will do we will do a sum plus equal to next sum dot val we'll add it into the sum the next sum becomes 
next sum dot next now uh, in the next step we have to assign the sum to the current node value so modify dot val equal to sum we assign the sum value to the current node value and in the next step we assign we move the next sum to the first non zero value so next sum equal to next sum dot next because it will come here when this loop will encounter zero so we have to move the sum to the next value that's why we are doing this now we will move modify also to this node this next node so modify dot next because one element is added now in modify modify equals to modify dot next because we add a element in the modify next sum is added to the modify now we have to move the modify counter one pointer ahead and then after the while loop we can return head dot next let's try to run it for the sample test cases if the sample test cases are passed let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well so hidden test cases also pass with a good time complexity and good memory complexity so the time complexity for this is actually o of n because we are uh, traversing the entire link list single time and space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space except for the nodes of the merged nodes otherwise um, let me explain you the code once again so here we are initializing the pointers here we are iterating the link list till the time it is empty and here we are starting with the sum until the time we encounter another zero next zero and we encounter we do a sum in the sum variable then this sum variable is added to the modify list then the modify list the next pointer is uh, pointer is moved one point ahead because it was pointing to zero in the last case here so it is moved one point ahead and we add the next sum to the modify list and move the modify pointer also one ahead so this is the code now you can check the c++ python and javascript solution by going into the solutions panel here and check this solution here you can find the intuition the approach complexity step by step explanation the java code c++ code python code javascript code and yes do remember to upvote me so i hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day